Welcome back to Planet Zoo on more smallish beans as you can see we've made quite a lot of progress on our zoo so far Our doll sheep enclosure is terrible though as you can see here yet people are still giving us that moolah Quickly, I'd like to say thank you for all of the support on this channel. I really wasn't expecting this many subscribers. I really enjoy making these videos, so I'm glad you guys enjoy watching them as well. However, we are going to start off by making the doll sheep a new enclosure. I felt sorry for them being stuck in that horrible enclosure, which took me like two minutes to make. So I spent about an hour and a half building them a nice new enclosure with lots of space plus a load of scenery as well. And I actually added in this waterfall here. At first I was going to make like a little lake, but then I decided no, that looks terrible. Plus these guys like their land and don't really need water. So I'll just make this cute little waterfall into this pool here at the end instead. And before this zoo, I'd never really built with the tiger and tundra trees and plants and rocks and all that sort of stuff. So it was really fun for me to like try out all these sort of arctic looking trees as I really like how they look I just think they look cool and I did like a few other rocks and cool little things and plants in this enclosure as well plus change the terrain a little bit to make it look a bit more natural I also decided not to use a barrier but instead make my own out of this fence here I hope this is high enough because if it's not this is gonna be a massive shame as I spent a long time placing all of those little fences individually to get a nice curved edge to this enclosure I also struggle every single time to try and find a way to make the screens look nice. So I actually customly built my own little thing here, which I thought looked pretty cool. I did some more simple ones on the side you'll see in a second, but that one there is the main one in the center. And I think that one looks actually all right. Now this is gonna be the actual first enclosure you see when you come into the zoo. Opposite this on the other side of the path is where I think I'm gonna have this Arctic village I keep talking about. I was gonna make it so the path would go through it, but instead I think I might just like have a little path leading off, have some nice little area there where you can buy like all your drinks, food and like souvenirs and stuff like that. I think that would look pretty nice there. But I just wanted to have an enclosure very close to the entrance. It's sort of like a starter animal. They're not the most amazing to look at, but they're fun and then they'll lead on to some more interesting animals as we go on into the zoo. Probably saw a little while ago, I did like the little power and water treatment thing in as well. I think I'm gonna have my staff area behind this enclosure. I think it's in a pretty good place for like access to the rest of the zoo. But now we get to go and put our doll sheep in it. Hopefully we don't have any problems. All right, so let's just grab one for now. We'll get Embrace here. And I haven't got any staff room or anything in this area yet, so this may take a little while for them to bring her. But Rebecca Black is bringing her right now. Ooh, the disc is underpriced, really, for this one zoo. Fine, I'll, I'll raise them. Release the doll sheep. Please be suitable, please be suitable. The coverage is brinking on the edge, but it looks like we're good. Everything looks all right. Let's bring the rest of the sheep over. Sorry, Rebecca Black, you've got a lot of work to do. Wait, one thing I didn't check is that, is this escapable? It looks perfect. Good, 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 good. <laughs> but as you can see, all our animals are boxed up here. And while I'm moving these, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put another animal in this little starting enclosure here to bring us in some more money. But we also need to set up a new work zone and hire some new staff, such as a new keeper, who we shall call Daniel Radcliffe. A new mechanic called George Clooney because he will interact with Sandra Bullock because of gravity and also Brad Pitt because of Ocean's Eleven and all that. A new vet, Courtney Cox, because we're going kind of for a friends vibe for the vets. And we'll leave it for just one caretaker for now. So hopefully these guys can start looking after these sheep. I need to make a staff room here for them. I kind of want to put a big one in, but I haven't researched it yet. Let's do that now. For some reason, people are still looking at this enclosure despite it just being a field of boxes. Look at that for a view of Dar sheep. Wow. Amazing. I forgot to put donation boxes in. We're just gonna be losing money. All right, while those animals are moving, let's choose our next animal. We're gonna stick to the Arctic theme for now. So I'm thinking either Arctic wolf or reindeer. Reindeer don't need a lot of space, so maybe reindeer would be good. So let's adopt all these females for now and we'll get one male to go with them. Wow, the male is expensive. But this one's called Sven, so I, I kind of have to get him. We are losing quite a lot of money right now, so these reindeer really need to get here soon. Sven has arrived. We're gonna put some basic hard shelter in here. Come on, we need to start going up money soon. People come look at the reindeer. Give me money for my reindeer, please. And we have to hire another caretaker for this enclosure here. And Rebecca Black's a YouTuber, so this one has to be called Chain Dawson. Disease animal cover- no! We're making money, but all my doll sheep are getting diseased. What is going on here? The nourishment. Animal is starving. Why is the keeper not feeding the food up? Give these guys some food. Okay, things are back under control. That was a bit of a panic. We can finally add in a large staff room as well. Let's get that in there. But at least people are enjoying the doll sheep enclosure. Look at that. Look how nice that is. 
It's getting dirty already. There's poo everywhere. Cleanliness is fine, though. Wait, who's escaped? What? They've not escaped. They're right there. Oh, I think the barrier might be like, if they go to the edge of this fence. Yeah. Yeah. Move that. Oh, for goodness sake. The animal hasn't escaped. Come back, everyone. He's in the fence still. Let's add a conservation board in over here. Ecotourism. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk again. Right. Who's the keeper on here? Daniel Radcliffe is obviously struggling. So let's get another keeper. We'll go with Matthew McConaughey. He can come help. Hopefully clean this enclosure up a little bit. Come on. I don't want more diseased animals. Oh, for goodness sake. But at least we've got 400 guests. I think that's enough panic for now. We've got two keepers on there. I think we can start building some stuff again. Our money is going up. Good. Let's leave the staff area for now. We don't really care about our staff being happy. We want the guests to be happy first. So let's make a little shopping area here. Because I reckon some of these guys will be getting hungry and thirsty. Yeah. So I wanted this area to have a sort of like food quarter type of feel about it by just having like a different floor and adding in a few shops. I was going to add in some souvenir shops, but I think I'm going to add those a little bit later on on the other side as we already got the information shop so people can buy stuff from there for now. So I focused on making the food and drinks shop as you can see here. I made the same building and then I just copied and pasted it and used it twice and gave it quite a Christmassy feel about it. I added some lights on like a Christmas tree on the back of a star. And I think it turned out looking pretty good. And then I sort of just decorated the area a little bit. I hung up some Christmas lights, which I thought looked really nice. Really like these big star ones in the new Arctic pack. I then decided to make an entrance as well. I put a little sign up saying Arctic Village as it is the Arctic Village, of course. I think I'm going to spread out like Christmas lights all the way around this thing. Try and make it look like sort of like a markety sort of winter village type feel. I might add some snow on the roof. I'm not sure if you can do that, but I'll try at least. If not, it will get snow on the roof when it snows, of course. And then I just started filling up the area with some scenery, some rocks, some snow, some more Christmas lights. Plus added a fence going all the way around it, which is always awkward to place, but I just love the look of this fence so much that I just have to do it every single time. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It took about an hour to build this thing in total, and you can see what it looks like from the back here. I really like how this one looks. And here you can see it from the other side. I don't know why the vendor's not in the drink shop at the moment, but everyone's getting their burgers, which is good. I need to research some more shops, of course, before we can add some more in. Please use my picnic bench. Go on, use it. Sit down. Oh, you. But the area is starting to fill up and starting to look really good and guests think the tickets are underpriced which is good because we can put them up and start making some more money imagine having this good of a view when you go to the zoo look at that amazing so i'm thinking our reindeer enclosure can go in this area here I'm going to have a path off here, and it's going to circle this entire area. We have some baby reindeer now, as you can see. They're pretty cute. Not enough hard shelter anymore, though. These guys are unhappy. Let's add more. Blooming egg, they need a lot of hard shelter. That should be enough. Are you kidding me? That's how much hard shelter they need? So I think I might build them like a log sort of cabin for them to actually have shelter in when we build their enclosures. We're not going to use these as they're ugly. Before we get building the reindeer enclosure though, we're going to fill out this area a little bit more. I'm going to add in some souvenir shops, which I know I need to research, so we'll do that as we start building. So I wanted to make a different style of building, a bit of a bigger building in comparison to the other shops that were in this little bit here. Also, while recording this, a lot of problems occurred, as you can see see here. I was trying to fix them and stuff, but eventually we got building our actual building we were trying to make for these souvenir shops. You can see I've got the balloons, but I've left a space there for another shop as well. However, we're going to have to stop this time lapse as something unfortunate has happened. Stop the time lapse. We've had a death. Oh no, where is it? Tempest has died. Doesn't look very dead. That's <laughs> moving. Wait. Oh no, here we go. Oh no. Call the vet. Keeper just, oh no, it's just hoovering next to him or whatever. Oh, the vet might be busy. Someone come get Tempest. Oh, they're finally en route. There we go. Oh gosh, what the heck? Poor Tempest. James is still alive though, but he's getting close to death as well, probably. Oh, that's going to be sad. They're all going to start dying. Okay, our mechanical research is complete. So we're going to pause for now and time lapse the shops. Also, I just saw that an animal is about to mature. I think it was this one here. So we're going to ship them out as they are male and we're only allowed one male. Yeah, look. Injured already? How is it injured already? It just matured. Let's just release animals to the wild. And this sheep's about to mature as well, so we'll send this one out as well. She is female, but we don't want any interbreeding. We've got two keepers working on this enclosure. Is there a keeper hut here? It might be because the keeper hut's so far away. I'm stupid. Throw a large one in. That should hopefully fix stuff and make the thing 
cleaner. All right, everything's looking better now. Let's go back to building. So with the new shop research, we could add it into our building we are having here and start adding some detail. I really like all the different types of woods, beams, and everything that you get in the Arctic pack. And I'm just really enjoying this winter theme we're going for here. I'm excited to start some of the other themes a bit later as well though, as we will be having an Asian area and an African area and stuff like that. And I wish there were more animals for this Arctic area. There are some that are already in the game, but I really wanted penguins. I think penguins would have been awesome. Plus maybe something like seals would have been cool as well. But you can get loads of different type of penguins. So it'd be cool to have different penguin enclosures for the, all the different types of penguins and stuff like that. But I was going to ask you guys what we should do for our next animal. We're going to do reindeer enclosure next episode, but after that, we also need to have an animal in our starter enclosure. And I was thinking either Arctic wolves, polar bears, timber wolves, or even the Japanese macaques, which are like this cute monkey. Although I've built an enclosure for them before, so I prefer one of the other ones. But we will be building a reindeer enclosure next episode. I'm definitely going to have like a big hard shelter area, and I might try and have some sort of funky way of viewing them, like a raised platform or something like that. But I'm not sure yet. We'll see as we get there, because I'm not sure what sort of barriers they need, if it needs to be a certain height. It might be able to do something similar to the sheep, which would be nice. But here you can see me placing down loads of these fairy lights. I really liked how these looked and I just wanted to spread them around this little area here. I'm going to add more in, I think. I don't want to go too overboard though. It's a bit tricky with these lights. Another thing I've been adding in are these flaming torches for like lights. I don't know why they're so like on fire all the time, but I think they look pretty cool. They kind of go with the theme as they are in the Arctic pack, but at the same time, they're they're a bit weird. I'm not sure if I do like them. But you can see that the building there for the souvenirs is done. And then we started working on some other stuff, adding in some fences around all of these areas as well. Plus, you'll see in a second, I start adding in some terrain as well. I feel like a big problem lots of people make when they build these zoos is just to make them completely flat. But I like to go for a more natural vibe and make it like a little bit mountainous, add in some hills. As you can see next to the Dal sheep enclosure here, which we're currently surrounding in fences, which takes way too long to do and I did that on the other side as well plus I copied and pasted one of the shops we built earlier and added it on that side as well I'm gonna add like another little food or drink stand in there I'm not sure which yet maybe drinks I think they're more demanded and I didn't finish the scenery for this part I just added like a little rough guideline of what I want to do because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it I might add something else in there in the future but there you go this area is starting to look very compact very Christmas marketing now I'm digging it also after popular demand the zoo is called small smallish zoo. I wasn't a big fan of this name at first, but it's kind of growing on me. And it is a smallish zoo at the moment. Hopefully it will grow. But there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for today's episode of Planet Zoo. I hope you did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.